diagnosis of hiv infection in immunocompromised now we have discussed earlier how to diagnose hiv infection in immunocompetent patient but when we are talking about immunocompromised patients that means pe people with immunosuppression for example hiv or having hematological malignancy like lymphoma leukemia or solid organ transplant recipient then hiv rna testing is essential for diagnosis of hiv infection because in these patients the seroconversion is often delayed and sometimes even may not occur and even if seroconversion does occur it is not necessarily associated with viral clearance and preferably a quantitative assay should be used as per the who standard now if this hiv rna if it is not detected then you can easily report that there is no evidence of current hiv infection but if it is detected that means hiv rna is detected it indicates and you have to report that evidence of current hiv infection is present but then you have to monitor this hiv rna level in either blood or stool monthly now you can use previously archived sample for investigation of persistent infection to identify the length of infection if you can perform serology and where available it can help us in in patient management that is true uh, and whenever you are tasting hiv rna every month in blood and or stool then quantitative rna viral load monitoring is very useful if your rna viral load is decreasing that it indicates that it is a resolving infection if it is increasing it will suggest that patient is developing or progressing in a recent infection if it remains unchanged that means it indicates an established or persistent infection now uh, alternative to this monitoring with hiv rna is to just um, monitor uh, hiv rna in blood until it is not detected and then to monitor in blood and stool until clearance is uh, confirmed so that is the way if you don't want to perform blood and stool both then you perform in blood until it is clear totally and then you perform in blood and stool whatever is convenient now if your two consecutive monthly blood and stool samples are hiv rna negative the clearance is confirmed and you can report and stool on two consecutive occasions four weeks apart and clearance of infection is confirmed and it suggests retesting of blood at 6 months to show maintenance of viral clearance at earliest if transaminitis occur if a uh, blood hiv rna remains detectable for three consecutive months it indicates that persistent hiv infection is confirmed and we can report that persisting hiv rna in blood for three or more consecutive months indicates that establishment of persistent hiv infection and monitor hiv rna in blood every 3 to 6 months and we have to consider therapeutic intervention so this is basically it uh, in summary Uh, if i have to conclude if hiv rna is not detected in immunocompromised you can say there is no evidence of current hiv infection if it gets detected then you have to repeat every month quantitative hiv rna which either suggests resolving infection progressing infection or persistent infection now if it remains positive for three consecutive months it indicates persistent infection but if two consecutive hiv rna Uh, in blood and stool are negative it indicates uh, clearance that's it thank you